Welcome back to uh, to Max von Drakken's uh, toy reviews. Um, this be Godzilla 1954. Uh, his his arms move up and down. Uh, actually, they can go all the way around on the chest axis. They both can. Um, his head his head does not move. His legs move. Both of them. And um, his his tail his tail does not move. Um, <clears throat> the coloring on this one seems kind of bright to me. Uh, it just seems kind of you know, everyday, kind of you know. This is obviously the cheap toy, uh, the, the 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 cheap thing that you know parent, uh, pa parents can't afford the the high pricey stuff for their kid. They'll get this for them instead, and the kids will be like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, but it's it's not too bad. Um, this this angle he looks great he looks all plump like he's supposed to be but from this angle he looks really skinny I don't remember Godzilla in the first one being this skinny he looks like he's on some kind of serious diet uh, but um, I'm not gonna say too much about this one it's it's kinda meh but uh, hey it was cheap anyway and um, I'm glad I have a 1954 figure. I don't really feel like I need another one. But, um, so, uh, Godzilla 1954, the original, gets, I'd say, I'd say a solid seven, as far as quality goes. Uh, the painting is nice, nicely done. It's not too much different value throughout the whole thing, but uh, then again, he was in a black and white film, and he really didn't have that much different value. There's no paint bleeding whatsoever in the areas, like the the uh, like the um, toes and the teeth and the eyes don't have any paint bleeding coming off of them at all on the on the other skin and stuff. So um, that's all done very nicely. Uh, so yeah, a, a, a solid seven I would say as far as quality goes for Mr. Uh, Mr. Gramps right here. All right, thank you for watching.